I'm Pat Cohn, and we're playing Skyrim. So between this, uh, this episode and the last, I made up a list of big things that need to be done. And I also thought a little bit about how I've been performing in combat. And I think I need to improve that radically if I'm going to try any of the much tougher uh, dungeons. You've been a good friend. So we're going to head back to the um, College of Winterhold after we wrap up here that come to see the and, um, and get some conjuration spells. Much anything to suit your needs. And he has some steel ingots, no silver ingots, but I think this is good enough. And we're going to put on I made a uh, I thought I made a, a smithing amulet. Aha, I called it a crack, uh, craft necklace. You're quite welcome. Okay, so, let's see, do I have. And there is a uh, grindstone here which I can use to improve the crossbow, and the blade sword. Nice improvement on the blade sword. Reasonable improvement on the crossbow. And we also want to head and disenchant anything which uh, where we don't already know it's enchantment. So, yeah, eventually you're going to want to have an entire outfit made of uh, crafting stuff. Honored to see you again, my friend. But I don't want to rush to do that because I'm getting reasonably high level in my um, enchanting level, and once I get uh, to level 100, everything changes there. So at some point, I am going to want to disenchant uh, this shield so that I can learn the um, I can learn the necessary skills to actually. I'm tempted to give this ebony mace to Jizago as a weapon. I think maces are maces one-handed or two-handed. Looks like they're one-handed. Okay. Jizargo regrets there was no chance to speak with the sieging. Jizargo only has so much room to carry things. So right now he has an elven sword, uh, which does 24 damage. Let's give him the ebony mace, which does 32, and we'll take that sword back. Now, heavier weapons they do swing slower. But that is generally okay. Particularly for NPCs. So let's mage this thing up to... Yeah, I think Soul Trap is still the best enchantment we have for weapons. I kind of wonder what's going on up, uh, upstairs with, um, well, in any case. And for gauntlets, yeah, we'll give this to Jutago after improving it to... To improve uh, Magicka. I don't remember if he already has something like that. Let's see, he's wearing Dwarven Gauntlets that improve Magicka by 13, and I am giving him Orcish Gauntlets that also improve Magicka by 13, but he'll get a little bit more armor at them. 
Yeah, these gave him 19, this gives him oh, 20. Well, not a lot, but every bit helps. Or at least I like to think that. So let's improve everything else, and then we are definitely heading to the College of Winterhold. Not sure why I picked up clothes. Now, let's see, that's that helmet gives 30. What am I wearing? And this gives 26. So we're going to swap this helmet for the other one that gives uh, 30. we're actually going to sell this orcish uh, armor, so might as well just put a nice enchantment on it for the purpose of making it a little bit more valuable and getting more experience. Uh, we should give Jazargo an amulet, since I don't think he has one now. It's not a particularly impressive amulet, but Jezargo regrets there was no Jezargo only had so much room to carry things. It should help a little bit. We follow that. But yeah, let's wrap this up soon because this is a little bit boring. that's enough for now. So we will drop off any of the clothes that we're keeping that we're not okay I'm not gonna use that nor that we're definitely we're saving these Felmer helmets because I think they're the only helmet in the game that you can wear while wearing a circlet. So we'll have a big use for them later on. Um, did I? Maybe you should give Jezargo this ring. Yeah, Jezargo is not wearing a right wing, uh, a right uh, ring, and this ring seems pretty good for him to wear. So, if we look at his stuff, he is actually he has everything equipped. You can see by that arrow thing uh, off on the left, and. He has some potions. I'm not sure if he's actually using potions or not. And he's been grabbing some arrows, which is fine. Kajit will follow. Good. And we're going to switch back to our the necklace that we have that is not, or yeah, the necklace that improves our speech craft, so that we can sell all this stuff at a bit uh, better price. Okay. It's well. How are we doing on pounds? We're pretty heavy on the pounds, but I'm not certain whether that's just uh because of all the extra armor that we're uh, carrying. So, 
This should take us to about 9 a.m., something like that. Yep, 9.30. And... Oh, there's somebody else I have to talk to. Need some. You're crazy. If word gets around, take them off if you want it. It's not worth all this hassle anyway. You've been a good friend. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit you. Okay. Needs. So we can tell Jazargo's old gauntlets. And my, uh, my old helmet. And this orcish armor. Might as well sell all these old, oh no, Thelma arrows, they're still not worth anything. Okay, that's looking good. I wonder if... You wish to do what I do? So we could take training from him. But it's getting really pretty expensive, uh, and I think I'm going to take training at the College of Winterhold instead. So before I leave town, I'm going to actually go and uh, confront Helga about all the people that she's been uh, sleeping with. Gosh, I feel like such a prude. Um, to do that, yeah, Helga's bunkhouse is over here. On the other hand, she is sleeping with married people, so I don't feel like such a prude. You looking for something? What? No, don't tell me. If word got out that I'm practicing... Here, take this and don't mention a word of this to anyone. Especially Svama. I don't know why I bother. Okay. So. And apparently she doesn't seem to mind that I... If I lift some flowers from her place. So I'll do a little bit of that. Not too much. That's that's pretty sad. Since it seems neither of them has particularly sensible uh Any luck getting them Oh I know. I think things are going here. I want you to have this. It was my father's, but I'm certain you'll put it to good use. Huh. Boots of eminent stamina. So occasionally you get um, gear that's nicer than you could possibly ever equip at level 100. It's probably not the case here. Well, and these just improve st stamina rather than improve stamina regeneration. So yeah, we're gonna s quickly swing by the house and disenchant these to, see you again, my to get another enchantment and uh, a little bit more enchanting experience. And now we are heading up. We're heading to the College of Winterhold. And so again, the reason that we're going here, and we are going to take care of a few other tasks in that part of the world while we're there, is that we want to find uh, some distractions uh, for us in combat. 
so that enemies will uh, will spend their time attacking summons rather than us. So that's pretty solid. Uh, pretty solid theory. So, College of Winterhold. Now at some point in this area, we could give the uh, Ten Dwarven Cogs to, um, I can never remember the name of that guy. But there's a guy who wants Ten Dwarven Cogs as part of a series of quests. But I don't remember if we've done enough of the main College of Winterhold quest to actually uh, do that. I think the college is due for a change in leadership. So, we will pop in here. Good to see you. Well now, are you going to see him? Do tell him hello for me, won't you? Underneath the college. It's not the nicest place, so if you go down there, I can't find my Alembic. He keeps on losing his Alembic. It's kind of ridiculous. It's always in and let's see if we've leveled up alteration to a point where we can do, uh, where he'll sell any of the nicer spells. Um... Well, that's a new spell that was added by uh, by a mod. Not that exciting. No, it doesn't look like. Well, what was that up there? Oh. But we can sell him our stool, uh, our scroll of hysteria, and our robe of alteration. Yep, that seems like. A, and our necromancer robes. Good. Oh, and we have a bunch of staves that that we don't need but he doesn't have, he can't afford most of them. Unless he has some grand soul gems that we can buy. Other soul gems. Cool. Right. So that's what we needed from Tolfdeer. Uh, Brenya, I think she, yeah, she's a dumb, dumber that we could have asked instead of Jusargo to come with us if we had wanted to. Uh, Anathir, we don't have any more business with him at the moment. He did assign us to go and grab, uh, go and grab a, uh, a staff from somewhere or another. Oh, that's a goofy bug. Apparently, um... The light from the staff. I'm working on some. You mean the official? But it may, I wonder if perhaps you could assist. Me. It's just that. Aha! Uh -huh. So I think just he. Me, ten of them should be enough for me to get a better understanding of how they were crafted. That's all I need. All right. Okay. So the next time Please don't bother the I uh, I swing by this area. I'll uh, bring the cogs and uh, deliver them to him. So for now, I'm going to head over to the other tower where I will meet with the uh, conjuration trainer. So the game isn't calculating line of sight correctly, which is why um, Jizago's, or Jizargo's, uh lamp is lighting up rooms when there's no clear path to them. So he's the enchanting trainer. Hooray. Soul gems. Er, uh, what are you doing? Dude. Um, okay. Seems like Jisargo has decided to get fit. Oh, and free ingredients. Let's camp.
Jizargo. Oh yeah, I wonder if there's anything in this barrel. Yeah, the barrels have some more alchemy ingredients. Cool. Uh, now this is the restoration trainer, I believe. Restoration is a perfectly valid school of magic, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Well, and also somewhere around here is the uh, lost alembic, I think. I'm not seeing it, so maybe it's downstairs. Aha, this is the deserted room. Which you can freely loot. And there is the misplaced Alembic. And here is the conjuration trainer. I'll teach you some of what I know, but be careful. Sweet. Take a look. So Oh yeah, so actually now that we've trained five times, we're going to uh, level up and and I'm realizing that I would like to um to get decent at bound weapons, but unfortunately, in order to do that, I need to waste a uh, waste a skill on. Was just a misunderstanding. Take a look. Yeah, I need to to uh, waste a skill on uh, building up the prerequisites. So, and let's sell him any books we don't need. And we might actually train again with him. Aha, so I can buy Bound Bow. This is a really useful skill. And I would like to have the ability to summon something or another. Um, let's go with a Frost Atronach since those guys are pretty tough. And they do have missile weapons, so yeah. Two new uh, summoning spells for us. And we are going to put those in our uh, quick list. Bound Bow and Conjure Frost Atronach. Um, could do Bound Sword as well, I suppose. And you know, they say not there may be a matter in the various points of focus for Matt very well. Go to eat, return the glove, please exercise caution. This is not a so he gave us some gloves and wants us to clean, um, procedure without possible wants us to clean these glowy uh, things. And that's basically just uh, a way to get uh, free soul gems. So because soul gems can be kind of expensive and they are always useful, we are going to do that. Did we do this? Yeah. Common soul gem. And they're clean. And also, we should talk to Tolfdir and give him the Alembic. For another soul gem and a little bit more gold. Is he gonna be running forever like that? Uh, that's kind of irritating. And let's see if he has any spells that I uh, particularly want. Nothing that amazing yet. All right, then. Okay, well, so while we're here, 
we are going to go down and find the auger. So the midden is an uh, abandoned part of the College of Winterhold that presumably once uh, went down to street level access from uh, what Winterhelm used to be before uh, before the, the giant accident where half of the city fell into the sea. But nowadays it's just an underused uh, area beneath the college and okay so we're going to put muffle in the right hand and candlelight in the left and keep on training this also for the first time we're going to try using uh, Oh good, he stopped uh, with his running shtick. We're going to try using uh, Bound Bow. So Bound Bow, and actually... Yeah, Muffle on the right, that's our nice... Ooh! So when you do Bound Bow... It gives you a uh, a weapon of whatever kind uh, uh, it is that uh, that you're summoning, and it just sticks around for a while. With the bow, you get a pretty decent bow that just tend uh, that will disappear after a little bit, and uh, eventually, when you get the right perks. Uh, all bound weapons will end up um, will end up casting soul trap on their target, which is very nice. Because it, uh, if you're fighting at long distance, you don't need to worry about getting close enough to uh, to hit them with soul trap. And either way, it, there's a lot less hassle. Ice Wraths are really irritating. But it looks like Jazargo is able to make short work of them. Or at least injure them significantly pretty quickly. Now I can drop down and grab the loot. And there's a chest here. Sweet. Oh, did I ever get my... I'm still carrying a, a lot of weight. Oh, and that's an exit to Skyrim. We don't actually want to uh, leave the area. At least not yet. Whoa! Did not notice that. You also might get a little bit of experience uh, in conjuration whenever you uh, whenever you hit anything uh, with a bounce bow, but I'm not certain on that. So these are hanging spider webs that you can destroy with a weapon. Um, hmm. It does seem a little bit weird though that a uh, 
that a university would just have all this stuff happening uh, beneath its halls without ever investigating. Seems kind of irresponsible. Also not exactly the thing that uh, curious people do. I think I hear a, s a skeleton somewhere. Ah, uh, yes. No real need for too much sneaking, though, because those guys are incredibly weak. And that looks like a skill book. An alchemy skill book. Sweet. Um, but where, where is my destination? It should be around here somewhere. Okay, maybe it's this way? Yeah, looks like this way and then to the left. Your perseverance will only lead to disappointments. Still, you persist. Very well, you may enter. I am that which you have been seeking. Efforts are in vain. It is already begun. It. Those who have sent you have not told you what they seek. What you. The interaction seek. of the bow and this light effect from the auger is pretty neat. You seek that which all who wield magic seek: knowledge. You shall find this knowledge. It's also neat to see the darkness around the uh, the interactive uh, dialogue portion of the discussion, how that interacts with the light effects. Looks like it just it darkens in a cone to the right of that line. Um, Yeah, it provides enough darkness to improve the contrast. Because, yeah, you can see the same kind of darkening effects down here. Okay, come on. Unfortunately, this dialogue is not skippable. Good, 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 good. Come on. You and those aiding you wish to know more about the Eye of Magnus. Uh huh. You wish to avoid the disaster of which you are not yet aware. Sure. To see through Magnus's eye without being blinded, you require his staff. Okay. Thank you. Bye. The events now spiral quickly. Towards the inevitable center. So you must act with haste. Take this knowledge to your archmage. Okay, good. So we are done here. And we just need to make our way back out to the rest of the college. Let's see if I can remember the path. And I'll get a few castings of, uh, of illusion off as I can afford it. Or I meant muffle, but I suspect you knew what I meant. Okay. Can I jump all the way back up? Seems kind of unlikely. Can try. Ah, oh, shoot. Maybe not. Okay. I'll just exit the college down here. Mm, 
and let me just show you where it comes out. So this is a bit of the rock directly beneath the college. And there comes Faithful Jazarga. And we're going to... Actually, while we're down here, there is a quest that we can do that's just a little bit to the east and south. So we're going to uh, head out and take care of that. I think it's this boat that we want to be at. And we should see a quest mark. Oh, what is going on? I think I hear a dragon. But he is far enough ahead that I'm not sure if he's coming down or not. And Jazargo is stuck up there. Well, I'm not going to uh, wait around for him. Either he'll come and follow me or he won't. if we can avoid falling to our doom while we slide down. Okay. Good. I think it's that boat that we're heading towards. Let's see. Yeah. So we definitely just have too many quests uh, selected on the quest sc uh, screen right now, which is why we're not seeing, um... Oh, that sounded like a bear. Fortunately, bears are loath to follow you into, uh, water where they can't stand. So I think we're safe. Uh, oh dear. You did. Okay, this is not doing a lot of damage right now. So let's take this sword and... Uh, where's my shield? There it is. not going to actually try and... Okay. So the next time we see Bran Shea back in uh, Riften... Oh. What? Okay. Okay, that did not go as well as I hoped it had. It would. But I actually did press the button to bring up the infantry screen to uh, to save. So actually, at this point, I'm nearing the maximum length of the uh, video that I want to do. So I am going to save, and um, I'll see you in the next video, where we'll try that again.